Hey guys, Rod the Nerd here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Grimlock. Uh, now, before I start off the video, you may be asking yourself, why do I sound so dead inside right now? Um, it's actually because um, my lung had collapsed yet again. Don't worry, it's nothing anything too major. It just slightly collapsed. Um, it's a little bit uh, uh, um, uncomfortable right now. That's why I haven't uh, been posting in a couple of days because uh, I found out on like um, Sunday evening. Um, so I was taking, you know, obviously a break because uh, the doctor told me that I couldn't really do anything. Uh, but now I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, and the doctors uh, yesterday told me that the, the lawn is starting to look a little bit better. So uh, I, I know that I said I wasn't going to get any like hospital updates, but I feel like you guys should know just in case if something, you know, ridiculous happens, like I suddenly stop uploading uh, videos again uh, for like a, a week or something, then you might know uh, that I'm like in the hospital again or something. But other than that, uh, I'm not going to get any more updates because I don't want to dwell on this situation too long because I feel like it might be a little bit unbearable for some of you guys. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the box here. So this is the uh, Grimlock uh, Core Class. Legacy, and I have a lot of things to say about this guy in just a few moments, but before we get into that, let's take a look at the box here. So on the side of the box here, you got Grimlock in his action pose there in his robot mode, very awesome. Uh, and then on the back here, you got him in his robot mode and him in his dinosaur mode, and then flip around to the other side, then you can see the other characters in the, um, the uh, evolution line there. I, I thought I was going to say Legacy, but it's Legacy Evolution. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the actual figure. So here is Grimlock here, and I have a lot of things to say about this guy. This guy is possibly one of the most disappointing core class figures I have ever bought. If you guys remember my uh, Hot Rod core class review, and uh, you probably remember me saying that that was the most disappointing figure I have ever owned, th this guy takes the cake. Um, he's not bad or anything, but he's just disappointing from how much luck laster he is. Um, and that's mostly to do with a couple of factors. The first factor is obviously you can see the proportions. Uh, now he might not seem like that disproportionate, uh, but the, but in person it's, it's extremely, extremely blocky. I get what they're trying to do with like, you know, the G1 style. Um, but if you, when we transform him into um dinosaur mode uh these legs here will become a huge factor in the proportion section and that's that's it, it just looks terrible it looks awful um but so you can clearly see that the upper half here actually doesn't look too bad um even though that this kibble in the back here doesn't actually bother me too much um but like just these legs here they're way too blocky um and it just looks really awful um, what's also really awful is that this guy has bare, like, no articulation at all. He literally just has ball joints and, 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 um, swivels. That is pretty much it. Even Core Class Hot Rod didn't even have this minimal of articulation. And they could have, I know that this is a smaller figure, but man, this, this guy could have easily been a really good core class figure if they could have implemented some goddamn elbow joints. I know that these are supposed to be the legs in dinosaur mode, but man, if, if they could add just like an elbow joint, and then kind of, you know, they, they, there's some, there's some, Hasbro has done some crazy engineering uh, with their core class figures and, and also implementing articulation that doesn't ruin the alt mode. I felt like they could have, you know, implemented something to have an elbow joint and also have like kind of a knee bend in dinosaur mode. That would have been really cool. Um, but we didn't get that, which just really sucks. Um, and, but like, like I said, we, we get bare, bare minimum, bare minimum articulation here. So we have a swivel at the head. That's pretty much all you get. You get a ball joint at the arm here. That's all you get. You can three, it, it can rotate 360. Like I said, no elbow joint. And you can have a, um, a swivel at the um, the uh, wrist there, but you actually don't get any actual articula articulation in the actual fingers there. Um, he does have a uh, waist swivel, which I'm actually quite proud to see. Um, and then you can also see that these little hinge joints here 
um, which these could be used in articulation, but this is actually for a, um, a different mode, which we'll talk about, but I actually won't transform him into that other mode because I'm not wasting my time transforming him into an actual goddamn block. I'm not doing that. So for the legs here, he can kick that far, can move back that far, ball joints, um, like I said, so he can do the splits pretty well, um, and just a solid... Uh, well, a pretty good bend of the knee, actually. Not that bad, actually. It doesn't look too bad. Um, but, yeah, bare minimum articulation here. And even if, he, if, even if you want to try to get him into, like, a somewhat good pose, it always looks terrible. Like, it literally looks like a really shitty Roblox skin when you're trying to pose this guy. It, it, it looks really, really awful. Um, and that's why I actually prefer him in the dinosaur mode which actually it doesn't actually look that bad but we'll, when we're when we're transforming him you you'll see what I mean with these legs here um but let's take a look at the paint here um because there actually is some paint believe it or not uh you can actually see that the, the black um is actually painted and then you can also see the visor here personally for me I feel like the black is a little bit too glossy for me it looks way too shiny if it would have been better if they used kind of like this which is not like making it look like wet it just looks really weird in the light um but you can see the autobot logo really nicely painted on uh you can see the gold there you can also see the red um the uh waist section there and then you can see the gold for the um the claws on the back of his hands there which are the dinosaur feet um and then you can see some red on the bottom here um and then you know that's pretty much it for the painting uh in robot mode um but like all, you know, Hasbro figures, the paint is very durable on here. Uh, but the actual um, uh, detail on this guy is actually not that bad. There's some really good mechanical detail throughout this guy in robot mode. Um, I really do like kind of like the chest area here. It looks really nice. Um, the kind of the arms uh, kind of have like some weird like pistons and stuff on them, which actually doesn't look that bad. Um, so... It always looks great when you have mechanical detail to complement the lack of paint. It just looks a little bit nicer um, instead of just being a, you know, a solid, you know, gray piece of plastic without any actual detail on it. Um, but before we transform him, uh, let's take a look at this weapon here. This is his, his weapon and it, it fits in his hand just like that. It just plugs right into the hand there. And then you can obviously what I mean that now he looks like a like a, a Minecraft character. Like look at that that like since there's no elbow articulation, I mean you can like twist his elbow or not his elbow, his um wrist to make it look a little bit more dynamic. But even then, you know what I mean. It looks like you can bend his his legs like that to give him into like a little bit more of a pose, a little bit more action pose, but without any actual articulation in this upper section here, um like with the elbows or anything. It just looks really stiff and really bad. Um, but the, why I, I call this a weapon um, is because this is a p piece of parts for me. This is part of the tail, um, which I don't really mind parts for me all that well. But just the reason why this bothers me just a little bit is because this is just too blocky. Everything here is just way too blocky. This isn't Minecraft. I know what they're trying to do with the G1 style. But come on, like just much blockiness can just ruin the figure and this just looks it, it just it's just too blocky it's not a bad figure i'm not saying that this is a bad figure it's just really luck blaster with the articulation the proportions are really off and just the, the overall blockiness of it just looks it just looks really bad i just don't like how blocky this guy is but once we transform him into dinosaur mode the dinosaur mode is obviously my favorite mode obviously um, because I hate just looking at this and trying to get him into a pose just looks really bad. Um, so how to transform him? It's a very simple transformation since it's a core class. So what you want to do is that you want to squeeze the legs together until the, you hear them click. Then you want to rotate the wrists. So then they're pointing forward like that. Bring this backpack kibble. And then you want to fold these sections here until they snap in. Fold down the head. And then you want to take this plug here and then actually fill in that gap which actually is a really nice touch i actually really like that then you want to bend the legs and then you want to see this little um hole is going to plug right into that little connector thing right in there and then it should be able to snap uh okay well it's not gonna snap it's it's, it's solid in there anyway it's not gonna wiggle out or anything 
Then you want to take back the gun here, and then you want to plug it into the back of the tail here, and then fold down that head. So here is Grimlock in his dinosaur mode. Um, now this is not this is not a terrible dinosaur mode, but when you flip it sideways, damn boy, he is thick. I'm sorry, I'm not very enthusiastic about being you know seeing a thick dinosaur like. Anybody would go crazy over a thick dinosaur, but sorry, you know, collapse lung and everything. But anyway, so can't really, you know, it's it's so blocky. Like the proportions are way too thick. I mean, the overall front side doesn't look that bad, except for these little, you know, warts or bumps or whatever. That obviously this is for the ball joints in the back, so they can actually bend and everything like that. But it just looks a little bit too weird. Uh, the head actually looks the best out of everything. Um, the, um, the actual head, uh, you can see the painted eyes in there. Very nice. I actually do really like that. And then you actually get a little bit more silver, um, coming out here instead of, you know, just gray plastic. You actually get some painted silver, um, in, uh, the, um, the arms here. So that's actually really nice. Um, and then you can see some more gold here popping up. Um, and yeah, it just looks, it's not terrible, uh, by any means, but obviously this entire tail section here, it's a little bit too big, and they could have shrank down the leg size a little bit to make it, you know, not so, you know, thick. So, but let's take a look at the articulation. Articulation, very, very minimal. Um, the, he's got a hinge joint at the head here, so you can look up that far and look no down at all. Uh, no articulation in these little arms here, which is very disappointing. I was expecting them to, like, rotate or something like that. Not bend, obviously, because that's a really flim piece of plastic i'm not expecting them to put you know a hinge joint in there but just like a little rotation or something to, to make it a little bit more less stiff and then you can see the legs here um which are just the robot legs so he can kick that far and it can move back that far um and he's got an all right spread in dinosaur mode nothing too crazy and you can see the um autobot logo there and there's no articulation in the actual tail section here uh, but you do get this little piece of articulation here, which I guess you can call that articulation. I guess. I don't really know. But, yeah, this just looks... It's not terrible. It's way better than robot mode. Because, um, like, obviously he can't really do anything in dinosaur mode because he's just a dinosaur. He can't really, you know, do really cool poses or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, he doesn't look terrible uh, in dinosaur mode. Um, but I did mention that there's another mode in this... Uh, that this guy can transform into that I'm not going to transform into um, is because this guy is actually a part of a combiner set. You can buy other Dinobots um, and you can actually combine them into um, Volcanus, which actually is pretty cool. Uh, and the actual Volcanus um, figure, when they're all put together, actually doesn't look that bad. Um, people say that's a little bit too blocky. I don't really think it's a little too blocky. I think the blockiness is equally distributed throughout the figure. Um, but yeah, but... I don't see why they had to go with this ugly kind of blockiness proportion in Grimlock and all the other dino modes, uh, Dinobots. Um, they could have easily done with, you know, a, a really good proportion with, throughout the other Dinobots, and it would actually look fine because Hasbro has done different combiners in the in the past, like this Studio Series uh, Devastator, for example. Um, all the other uh, Constructicons, they have. Uh, they, their proportions are not terrible. Their their proportions are, you know, relatively what they were in the films. And they're not, you know, no parts are too long, no parts are too blocky or anything like that. Their, their proportions are, for the most part, relatively okay. But for this, I don't see why they need to have these giant blocky bits for the combiner, for the Dinobots here. And it just, overall, it just kind of ruins... Uh, the Dinobots modes, uh, especially like in robot mode and also Dino, uh, uh, Dinobot modes. Um, I don't have the other Dinobots and I'm probably not going to get them because uh, the people are saying that they're actually kind of trashy, which uh, to be fair, after getting this guy, he, like I said, he's not bad or anything, but like, like at this point, I'm probably not going to buy them because I don't want to get bamboozled and actually get a really bad figure that I actually hate. This guy, I do not hate. There's a lot of things that I actually do like about this guy. The the dino the Dinobot mode here actually doesn't look that bad. The robot mode actually doesn't look that terrible, besides you know the blocky bits, but just the proportions and the um the articulation is what 
I really don't like about this guy here. Um, but other than that, that's about it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is. So, bye, guys.